hard to find fault with a warm day in December. Well, you got that right. Uh, the first was uh, warmer than normal, 70s yesterday, 70s again today. This is a nice trend. Unfortunately, it will come to an end this weekend. In fact, if you look at our uh, personal microcast forecast graph, for Austin, you can see exactly what's going to happen this uh, weekend. Uh, we begin with tonight, uh, the low temperatures hour by hour. As you see them there, only bottoming out in the middle 50s. Then we're up into the 70s tomorrow. Then look how that graph goes the rest of the weekend. By the way, this is our brand new forecast feature, and it's custom. It's tailorable to your specific neighborhood and zip code. Uh, this graph might look a little bit different if you enter your uh, zip code right here and you live in, let's say, Pflugerville or southwest Austin. So just move around this map to where you live and then hit the button and you come back right here and there you have it detailed weather for any given hour right there at your fingertips at kxan.com it's the first tab under the main uh, weather page now uh, it's a big deal we really like it and we really think that you will too we've had a lot of requests for many many years for something just like this well how how are we looking tonight uh if you ask me it's fantastic we're clear it's 62 degrees right now. Our low tonight is only going to drop to 56 degrees in Austin. So very mild in the morning. We'll start the day with some uh, brief overcast, maybe a little light fog. By noon, it's super. It's 73 and uh, partly sunny to mostly cloudy. And then let's, we'll call it 5 p.m. 78. We're not real clear on this frontal timing right now. The models tonight, the new data I just looked at, trying to speed this front up and bring it in, you know, late morning, early afternoon in the metro area. I don't think it can get here that fast. I think we're going to get pretty warm before it gets here tomorrow. Then tomorrow night, you'll really feel the effects of the front. We'll talk more about that in a minute. A quick look at the current weather. 46 in Lano is the cool spot, but boy, everybody else still nice tonight in the 50s to uh, low 60s. 62 in the city right now, 59 degrees at ABIA. Uh, skies are clear. Uh, winds are variable at 3 in the city and south at 10 at the airport. Sunrise in the morning is 712. Mold count today was medium at 420. And in your allergy forecast for Saturday, we don't think it'll be very much higher, likely still in the medium category. And it is mild across the state. Amarillo is still at 55 degrees, so that front isn't even into Amarillo yet. It's got a ways to go. 62 in Dallas. Uh, they're enjoying it on the Riverwalk in San Antonio tonight. It's 63 degrees right now. Some high clouds coming at us from the west. There's a storm developing over Nebraska uh, that has generated this front that's moving into the Oklahoma panhandle right now. But it's still going to take it a little while to get down here into central Texas. Again, we're thinking tomorrow afternoon. Now, in the morning, some brief low cloudiness, maybe again some light fog, and then a mix of clouds and sun. But uh, certainly by mid-afternoon, we could have that front into maybe through the metro area. Then temperatures slowly start falling. But before it gets here, I think we're going to have a pretty day. Uh, then breezy north winds behind the front and noticeably cooler tomorrow night and then uh, during the day on Sunday. Temperatures tonight, though, anything but cool. The, well, I, you can call it cool, but this is a well above normal in the 50s, uh, most locations. And I think tomorrow we all get into the 70s before that front arrives. Tonight, clear in Austin, 56. Some high clouds moving in later, then low clouds uh, toward morning. But then we'll see a mix in clouds and, of clouds and sun in the afternoon and a high of about 78 as those winds shift to the north at some point uh, during the afternoon tomorrow. And then we drop to 39 Sunday morning. Sunday, we may be 15 to 20 degrees cooler than we are tomorrow. Tomorrow. So enjoy your Saturday. And then we have some rather chilly days, cold mornings early to middle of next week, and some kind of chilly afternoons. We may not even make it to 60 degrees uh, Monday.